Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Winter and welcome to checking out Boba Fett Pinball. This is another table off of the Zen Pinball 2 game. This is part of a three pack which we'll get into here in a moment, but before we go too much further, yeah see there we are, Boba Fett. Before we go, from what I understand, oh look at that no connection son of a bitch. So if we get a high score it's not going to get recorded. On the leaderboards. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Uh, from what I understand, 20th Century Fox has a bit of an issue with the music for videos on this particular table pack. I don't know about the Boba Fett table, but I know the other two tables that come in the pack, which are uh, The Empire Strikes Back and Star Wars The Clone Wars. They have an issue with the music in those. At least that's what I understand from talking to people that have already done videos on them. Uh, but Boba Fett, as far as I know, is in the clear. I just want to be cautious. And I know that uh, this is kind of a repetitive episode, seeing as how Aliens vs. Pinball, you know, that checking out episode came out, what, two weeks ago at this point? Just over a week and a half, something like that. Uh, yeah, something like that. You know, I try not to be too repetitive and do the same thing over and over again. But I really enjoyed the Aliens vs. Pinball tables. And I am actually enjoyed them a hell of a lot more than I thought I would. <laughs> so I thought, of, and people seem to enjoy them as well. And I reckon if you're probably on my channel, then you're probably a fan of Star Wars just like I am. And I'm a huge Boba Fett fan, and I thought this would be a fun video to do. So we're doing it. Uh, the aliens tables I got pretty good at. You see, I got up to 53 million on that one, and then my high score for AVP is 36. This table out of that whole pack, for some reason, man, this is now the one that I go back to the most. That is a shitload of fun to play. It's interesting how the difficulty of them is lined up in terms of how easy it is to score points. It's exactly as it's laid out. Aliens is the easiest one to score off of. And then AVP is the second easiest, and Alien Isolation is the hardest one to score off of just because the points are so small and there's not really a whole lot of areas that you can get a, get a good consistent rack up going. In fact, my biggest one, I barely made that fucking 10 million, and I got lucky. You know, I absolutely suck at these pinball games, but they're a shitload of fun for me to play. Uh, so with that being said, it looks like we've got 5 million to top on these. Uh, I haven't looked at this table yet. I've looked at the other ones. I played Clone Wars once, and that seemed pretty easy to get a high score on. See, I got 14 million on my first try. And I've played The Empire Strikes Back quite a bit, and I've never got under a million points on that one. So that one's a little bit more of a challenge than the Clone Wars one. So I'm curious to see what the difficulty will be like on Boba Fett to rack up a high score. And this is the only table that we're going to check out in this episode. If there's any interest in seeing the Clone Wars one or the Empire Strikes Back one, let me know and I'll do a video on them. But as for now, Boba Fett will be the last pinball episode that you all see unless there's interest in those two. And if we do those two, then there's not going to be any music, unfortunately, because I just don't want to take the chance, you know? Um, this pack, you cannot buy these tables individually. You have to get the three pack, but these go on sale every now and then, which I took advantage of in the May the 4th Be With You sale on the PlayStation Network, because this is the PlayStation 4 version we're looking at, and you can also get these for the PlayStation 3. But yeah, you can't get them individually. You've got to buy them all together. Uh, on sale, I paid like $2.50 for all three, Normally they're about six dollars, so that's not bad. It's slightly cheaper than all three packs for the Alien vs. Pinball set, which you can't buy those individually either. I had a motherfucker of a time getting these installed. Uh, I I bought them from the store, came into the game, and they weren't showing up in my library or on the PlayStation Network. I would select them from the menu, just like you know, just like this. And ordinarily you would have the option to download and play if you've already purchased them. Well, I would select that and then nothing would show up, like not even the demo. So what I had to do was I had to come back to this menu here, hit the square button, go to import tables, and then they showed up in my purchases and I was able to download and play them. 
it was pretty frustrating there for a minute because as I said in the AVP episode you know when I had Zen Pinball 1 on the PlayStation 3 I got totally gypped out of a table and couldn't get it to download anywhere and never got a fucking refund after hassling Sony for one so I was a little bit nervous there for a minute but I've talked enough let's fucking do this shit and let's go for a score of more than 5 million like I said I haven't even checked this out yet so let's look at the table and grab me a drink. You know, we're in a bar now. Oh, look at that. Oh, I got all the bounty hunters with him, huh? Oh, no, there's Star Wars music. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well, we may have to take care of that. Oh, it's actually got a back. Sweet. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, let's uh, see what we can do here. Now, there's a... Ordinarily, you get a skill shot. So what does that say? Shoot the... I didn't read it. Shoot the lit... Shoot the lit rollover target to make a skill shot. So where's the fucking lit rollover target? I don't know. Let's see if we can do a skill shot, though. I don't think I did. No, I didn't. <laughs> Because you get a million points for skill shots. Well, you did in the AVP tables anyway. Oh, I don't like the voice actor. God damn it. What'd they go with him for? I don't give a damn that he's canon. He's not Boba Fett. Oh, too late with the tilt. I'm no good at the tilts. I'm fucking terrible at pinball. Oh, fuck you, buddy. I'm fucking terrible at pinball, but goddamn, I have fun with it. You know, this is a blast to play. I really can't recommend this enough. And one thing that I discovered since playing this, because I've been coming back to this game at least an hour every single day, is you can change your views up. So let's see if we can, uh, we'll kick the ball up and then we'll see if we can get a better view at the table. It seems kind of cramped from the view that I'm looking at. Yeah, there we go. That's a little bit better. Hey! Alright, alright. <laughs> yeah, this is... it's okay. I dig the sound effects, man. I really enjoy the fact that they are able to get the sound effects from, I suppose it'd be Disney now, wouldn't it? Yeah, so it wouldn't even be 20th Century Fox that I may have an issue with. It'd probably be Disney, huh? But I dig the fact that they can actually use the real deal. Oh, look at the window! Oh, that's cool! <laughs> well, is that the skill shot? Was that it? No, that wasn't it, was it? I want to hit that little catapult looking thing. It looks like you can launch that other ball. But yeah, my aim is fucking terrible in these games. It really is. It took me quite a while to develop, uh, I suppose you could say, the skill for the AVP pack. In fact, I don't know how many days it was before I finally got my high scores on all those tables. But it was quite a while for the ones that were more than 19 million, you know. Um, I'm just, I'm a terrible aim. What else have we got? Oh, look at that. Oh, is that it? Oh, son of a bitch. Yep, three balls and you're out. Well, damn it, damn it. Yeah, we'll have to go another round then. I want to see what kind of bonus modes we can uh, get in this table. Uh, yeah, 500,000? Son of a bitch. That's terrible. I don't know why the PlayStation... I've had issues with the PSN cutting in and out all day, so I don't know why the internet... My internet connection's great. I don't know what's going on with the PSN, so I'm not going to make it to the leaderboards today, but... Oh well. So more than 5 million, right? 
Alright, let's fucking do this. Let's see if we can get some bonus modes going. Oh, where's he going? Oh, I'm on the follow the ball view. Once I've caught my prey. Shit. Do you now? Oh, I'm sure they do, huh? I'm, you know, the Sarlacc pit back there, that's pretty fucking sweet. It's a little bit of a bittersweet thing, huh? For him, maybe? A little bit of, little bit of salt on the wound. That's a pretty good bumper bonus. I'm happy with that. The problem I have with this game is that most of the time I don't really pay attention to that little box in the upper left because I'm looking at the, uh, the ball, I'm looking at the paddles, so I don't really get a chance to read much of the text that scrolls by on there. Shit! I did see that our score was only 300,000. Just under 400. Damn. Yeah, so this is a tricky table to score off of, huh? Must be the hardest one out of the whole pack. Oh, got it! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> you know he wanted to, man. You know he wanted to shoot that son of a bitch. You know, I used to uh, keep up with the expanded network... Or not the expanded network, what the fuck. The expanded universe, I suppose you could say, of Star Wars. You know, I used to read all the books way back in the day. Kevin J. Anderson's uh, trilogies. Or not trilogy, Timothy Zahn had the trilogy. The Heir to the Empire trilogy, which there are no jobs for bounty hunters now. is an awesome read. Y'all should check that out. But Kevin J. Anderson also wrote some great books. Hey, there's a million. And he did one called uh, Dark Saber, which was fucking awesome. It was like the remnants of the Empire uh, building another Death Star type station that was in the shape of a lightsaber, and it was called Dark Saber. And uh, it was pretty good. You know, it sounds kind of cheesy, maybe, and a little bit weak, but it, I'm, it's a lot better than what I'm making it sound out to be. <laughs> so, check that one out. Oh, there's Vader. <laughs> but. Um, Imperial assignment, bounty on pirate leader, 30 million. Okay. Oh, okay, so this is the bonus rounds. No disintegrations. As you wish. Here we go. What do we gotta do? I can't read that shit. I'm assuming it's like hit it up a certain path, isn't it? That's what all these are. In all the tables that I've seen so far. Hey, there we go! Okay, I gotta get out of this view. Oh shit, I don't like that one either. Actually, you know what? That one wasn't so bad. Did we just fail? I think we just failed. Anyway, so Kevin J. Anderson, there was a book called Tales of the Bounty Hunter, which was an anthology of sorts, which followed every single bounty hunter from The Empire Strikes Back, and just put them on little miscellaneous adventures. And they were pretty short, you know, only about maybe 15 or 20 pages each. And the one for Boba Fett was him dealing with crawling out of the Sarlacc pit, and going after Han Solo one last time and ah, I'm always too late with the tilts it was pretty good you know it was because at that point it took place like 15 or 20 years after Return of the Jedi if I recall but I could be wrong on that and you know they were both old men Han Solo had a bad back and Boba Fett had bad knees from getting eaten up by the stomach acid of the Sarlacc and and the only reason why I remember that is because he mentioned it. Because there's a, a point in the book, uh, possible spoilers for that, but there's a point in the story where they come face to face. Shit. <laughs> 
Uh, they come face to face and they've each got their guns on each other. And, you know, Han Solo's like, look, man, I got a wife, I got kids. I got a bad back, I can't really afford to be getting into a fist fight. And Boba Fett just looks at him and, you know, he's got his visor on and he just says, cold as ice, I have bad knees. <laughs> and that was it, and they just, you know, they let each other go and shit. Pretty good story, though. Damn, I wish I could have got on the leaderboards for that one. That's probably not shit, though. So, I mean, we saw in the Alien vs. Pinball episode that, you know, three hours after that pack had been released, well, there were guys on the worldwide leaderboards already that had scores in the 300 millions. And I'm sure as long as this pack has been out, because I'm not really sure when it was released, but I know it's been out a while. I'm sure there's probably a few people that have, you know, a few hundred billion points on it. I mean, people really seem to get enthusiastic about this game. And I get it, man. It's a shitload of fun to play. It's very well made. Uh, the tables are always nice to look at and nice to play on. We'll do one more. But with that being said, some of these tables feel a little bit more cramped than others. Like, this one feels kind of... Feels fairly open because there's a lot of distance from the um, the flippers to the back of the table, and even the first obstructions and tunnels and shit like that. Some of the the other two feel kind of cramped, like the the Clone Wars table. There's a lot going on on that. Like there's a lot of the little tunnel rails, like that right there. And in fact, there's uh, several of those on that one. And then the Empire Strikes Back feels very very clustered for some reason. It looks open, but it feels kind of tight and cramped. It's it's kind of hard to explain, but as I said, if you all want to see what those look like, uh, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll do an episode on both of those. But let's see if we can top our score of 4 million right quick. And then we'll call this table good and end this episode. I deliver. Once I've caught my prey, nothing stops me from bringing it in. Nothing. Except a hole in the job, ground. I completed. Just like that. Knows that. Oh shit. I just saw that flipper there on the far left. It's the first time I noticed it. I just want to check out another bonus mode. The bonus modes are always fascinating to me, like the Alien vs. Predator one. That's why I go back to that table the most, is it has some badass bonus modes. And so does the Aliens table. But by now, you've probably picked those all up and know that for yourselves. So we're here for Boba Fett and Star Wars. The other two tables in this pack, the Clone Wars and the Empire Strikes Back. The Empire Strikes Back has five bonus modes. And those are kind of, sort of, movie related. Hey! You the man. I don't care if your voice actor sucks. Thank you for that. But the ones in uh, the Clone Wars, I wasn't able to unlock. Because even though I got that 14 million score or whatever, I never hit the sweet spot to get the bonus mode selection. So I want to see what uh, other modes this one has to offer. Just need to remember how I triggered them. Oh, here comes Vader. I have a proposition for you. So we must be getting close to a bonus mode, huh? Come on, goddammit. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Bonus modes. Uh, bounty on a pirate leader. Bounty on deserted colonel. Bounty on rebel captain. Oh, shit. Ran out of time. I hope this isn't the one that we already did. Oh, look at that. Nice, nice. the pit we went.
I always get a little bit nervous when the ball goes back there and goes out of sight for too long a time. Three million so far. Hey, we may just top our four million score. <laughs> ah. Yep, look at that. Only 400,000 points to go, roundabout. Let's see if we can do it. I want to work this skill shot out, though. I don't think that was it. Shit. Focus. All right. Almost there. Authorized personnel only. Mature Delta. What? Oh, oh, here we go. Uh, disloyal mercenary. Let's go after that guy. Hey, we did it. There we go. Oh, it immediately fucked it up. <laughs> oh, that's alright. He's got our back, huh? Sweet. I'm terrible at the tilt. I don't know if I just can't time it right or if I can't ever get it going in the right direction, but for some reason, on some of the tables that I've played, like those dead zones on the left and right side of the screen that we just rolled down, god damn it. Ah, sometimes, even when I do a tilt to kind of avoid going into those, it's just a lost cause. I can never time it perfectly. All right, let's go for 10 million, huh? Let's see if we can get another 4 million in this round. It plays pretty good, though. I mean, it's it's fucking pinball, you know? You can't really... Shit. You can't really say that the gameplay sucks unless you're not a fan of pinball. And I've never had an issue with any table that I've played on so far in terms of bugs or uh, glitches or anything like that. There was one spot there. Oh, here we go. Um, Spice Trafficker. Wait, wait. Let's go for the uh, rival clan leader. Alright, so where are we going with the ball? Right there, huh? That'll work. Damn it. That's it. Son of a bitch. All well and good. Not a bad table. A little bit tricky to pick up the points on. But that's alright. It's nice to have a challenge with these things. In fact, it, it's nice, it's refreshing to me just to, to see a game. We'll meet again, friends. Well, not necessarily to see a game. Yeah, I wish I could have got on the leaderboard for that one. Fucking PSN. Um, it's refreshing to play a game that's so old school in terms of, you know, you just, you just go for the high score. That's your main drive for playing it. You always want to one-up yourself and, and do better than you did last time and shit like that. You know, it's nice whenever you can play something like a... Uh, well, here recently, I've been playing TR-2013 just for the hell of it. So it's nice to go from something like a, a Tomb Raider that's very story-driven, very intense, very serious. You know, and with a, a hell of a lot of... Uh, hardcore gameplay going on in terms of being very refined and, and you got to be very precise with lining up your shots and shit like that to just coming back to something that's like well just score a whole bunch of points you know it's it's nice to go back to that simplicity for me at least i don't know maybe i'm the only one you know these these kind of just basic score driven games it's kind of a thing of the past now isn't it it's kind of odd how gaming has evolved from that to now everything's got to be a fucking work of art and the story's got to be so gripping and the graphics have to be so good. It's like, well, yeah, why can't we just have fun with it? It's fun in games, you know? You're supposed to play this shit to have fun. You're not supposed to get sad. You're not supposed to get depressed. 
None of that shit, man. It's just fun and games. Just have a blast with it. And I've had fun with Zen Pinball, too. I highly recommend it. Uh, this table, eh, it's okay. Uh, I can't say you'd be missing out if you didn't pick it up. But if you're a Star Wars fan and a Boba Fett fan, I think you're, you'd be happy with it. it. It's not a bad little table pack. And like I said, I'm not going to show the other two tables off unless there's any interest in seeing them. So let me know if you want to see them or not. But uh, for $6, if you were to pay full price, I think it's a pretty sweet deal. You know, I've got... Uh, on the Empire Strikes Back table, I mean, fuck, I already sunk in over an hour and a half playing that one. I think that's probably the one that I'll go back to the most, just because I really like that table. It's uh, it's got a, a lot, got a lot of fun bonus modes, even though there's only you know there there on, there's only five of them, but they're fun. So I guess it doesn't really have a lot. And you're gonna have to forgive me. I'm in my bar setting tonight. You know, I'm playing pinball. Before I started recording, I had music going, and I'm drinking a couple of beers. So that's what I do whenever I play pinball. You know, that's the, the best setting is go to a bar, put some music on the jukebox, and play some beers. But if you can't do that, Zen Pinball 2 is an excellent way to recreate that atmosphere in your house, on your own, while your dog sits on the couch and looks at you like you're a sad, alcoholic, pathetic fuck. Anyways, thank you all for watching. My name has been Winter, and I'll see you on the next one. Everybody take care out there.